Welcome to video 105 in series 3 and now we need to make the ammo and reload behavior for the gun. Okay, so this is a really involved behavior so it's going to be split into two parts this video because it's just a bit too much to cover all in one go. So create a new script, just call it gun ammo. This one script will house everything. Okay, private player master, player master, private gun master, gun master, private ammo box, so player ammo box, and I'll just call it ammo box, private animator, my animator, public, oops, public, int clip size, public int current ammo, public, string, ammo name, public, float, reload, time. And there are a lot of methods, so we better write them out. I won't need the update, that's the only one that I don't need. Now let's start void deduct I'm also, a lot of the methods will just leave empty in this video, I won't fill them out, it's just a bit too much. We'll get back to it in the next video. Void, try to reload. Void, check ammo status. Void, starting sanity check. Void, UI. Ammo update request. Void reset gun reloading. Public void on reload complete. Now this is special, this is called by the reload animation. I enumerator, let me scroll down a bit, I enumerator, reload without animation, so if you didn't have an animation, yield, return, new, wait for seconds, reload time, and then on reload complete is the method to call, and that will carry out the actions that should be called anyway. Next, I enumerator. Update ammo UI when enabling. Yield return new. Wait for seconds. It's a bit on an odd one, 0 0.05. This is a fudge factor. To ensure, I haven't spelled that correctly, to ensure that the UI is updated when changing weapons. Okay, let me just get back to that. Let's knock that out. Okay, good. UI ammo update request. Okay. So, yep, as you can see, many, many methods, and we need to start filling uh, some of it in, not all of it, in this video. Okay, so let's start with set initial references. So, gun master is equal to get component, gun master, and if get component animator is uh, not equal to null, in that case, my animator is get component animator. Okay, not finished. If game manager references dot player, so the game object itself dot player is not equal to null.
Then in that case, player master, we can actually get the reference then uh, is equal to uh, that game manager references. I might just copy that, just make things a little bit easier. Dot get component. That is player master. Okay. Next, ammo box is equal to same thing. Dot get component. Ammo box. Okay. Okay, so then on enable, there's a lot to fill in here, so it's pretty crazy. Set initial references, starting sanity check. Check ammo status. Gun master dot event player input plus equal uh, deduct ammo. That's logical. And when that happens, I will also check ammo status. Oops, what did I just do there? Let me just go back. There we go. Check ammo status. Yeah, I overwrote that. Okay, good. I'll copy the whole bunch when I'm finished and put them in on disable. Just give me a moment. Okay, now this one will be event request reload. So what will I do? I'll try to reload when this request is called. Also, if the gun is not usable, so event gun not usable, so if that gets called, attempt to reload, try to at least. So that way, you know, if uh, the player, you know, empties the full clip and then they click, they're still clicking, what will happen is then the gun, if there's actually ammo available in the ammo box, it'll then pull that ammo and will automatically reload without the player having to press R. Okay, so then event request gun reset so just put in here the gun reset reset gun ro reloading and uh yep now i need to at least copy these and just remember to put the uh, unsubscribes so let's just do that Okay, so I'm still not finished with on enable. Now, if player master is not equal to null, so it's got the reference, then there's a there's a subscribe here too. Player master dot event ammo changed plus equal UI ammo update request. So this is where you know if the player walks and picks up an ammo clip or they pick it up with E then the UI will be forced to update, which is good. Still something more. And uh, while I'm at it, probably should have the unsubscribe as well. Okay. If ammo box is not equal to null, start coroutine uh, update ammo UI when enabling. Now because of how slow it is to uh, get the uh, player reference, because I've learned how slow game manager reference is, is in, in establishing that player reference in the first place, this one here, we need to have stuff in start because uh, this stuff here is just not going to uh, necessarily work uh, in the first place like for example this one the player master is probably is going to be null the first time uh, the gun uh, is enabled so we need to have some stuff in start as well okay so first of all set initial references and then I'll just copy this coroutine here copy that over and finally I'm thinking actually I've just had a uh, just a momentary change of thought. I think I might actually just grab this instead of putting it in on enable. I might just grab this and uh, put it in. No, 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 no. Leave that there. So I will put it in start and I will leave this here because every time uh, the gun gets disabled, like for example, you have it in your inventory, it will get disabled. This on disable method will be called and all of these will be unsubscribed. So when you select the gun from your inventory, 
it will become enabled. And then this method will be called and carry out all the subscribe actions. So it is important to have it there. And I have to put it here and start as well, uh, just so that for the very first time, uh, it is able to establish uh, this uh, subscription. Otherwise, the player master is going to be null, because as I told you, this is very slow, or can be very slow. It's yeah, I told you already, the throwing blocks, for some mysterious reason, they are able to uh, capture this reference after it's established, but other stuff like the rifle is getting is getting its stuff set up before this is established. So, can't choose how that happens. Well, you can with the script execution order, but uh, rather not be fiddling with that. Okay, so continuing on, let's have a look. What have I done? Uh, I think I've filled that out enough, so I will set the initial references. That'll ensure in start. That will ensure that this has all been, uh, this reference is set up by that time, and then I can have these established in this script. Okay, so I'll just have a very quick look through the script just to make sure that I'm not making any really silly errors, and just jump to Unity as well, just to check for any obvious errors. And all this is saying is some variable has not been used yet, which is absolutely true. We'll get to that in the next video. All right, so that's it for this video. This is quite enough for this one. Thanks for watching, and hopefully uh, I'll explain to you properly how it all works in the next video. But we've got plenty more code to write.